если... Twelfth of November 2021. This is Sergey Baklikov. You're watching Baklikov Live from Saint Petersburg, Russia. This is my neighborhood. My neighborhood. Welcome to my neighborhood, which is called Tsar's Capital. Yeah, ridiculous name, but I deal with this. And uh, this is uh, the beginning of uh, already traditional Friday nice life. Uh, today Friday Night Live in St. Petersburg. Exactly a week ago I was making the uh, uh, I was making the live stream also on Friday uh, Friday weekends during a one week lockdown. Uh, Let me uh, remind you that uh, a week ago here in Russia was a one week lockdown. Okay? Something with the connection, right? Okay, look, a, um, a week ago uh, there was still a one week, one week lockdown in St. Petersburg and in the uh, whole Russia. Now it's over and uh, let's see if uh, everything got back to normal. Well, I think so. I think so. So right now, just starting from my neighborhood, we are going to the center of St. Petersburg to see how it happens there. Cutting in and out, buffering. Okay, I think now it must be okay because I've made some changes. Now it must be okay. Look here in my neighborhood, through all the pedestrian alley that goes uh, through the whole neighborhoods. Here you can see they already started making the New Year decorations, such uh, lightings on a lamppost, stretched on a lamppost. They are they not turning them on yet, but soon it will be started. And uh, same about the whole St. Petersburg. You know, uh, they said that uh, 33 million rubles, which is like almost a half of a million dollars, will be uh, spent by the city government uh, for the New Year lighting, lighting in St. Petersburg. Well, of course, it's going to be way more in Moscow. Moscow usually, uh, um, it's fantastic. Usually it's fantastic in Moscow during the New Year's season. So this is uh, the uh, the middle, the middle of my neighborhoods. Here is uh, the government land. Here must be a kindergarten and here must be the school or vice versa. I don't know, but they still never started the construction, but they will. Okay, hello everybody, Neil McDonald, Nirvan Rai, Dutchman, Lou Skant, um, Victor Z, and everybody, everybody, hi, welcome to this live stream. This is St. Petersburg. I wonder if uh, the connection stabilized. Usually it's it's a good connection here in my neighborhood. Yandex market, another Yandex business, Yandex market. You can buy the uh, stuff, different items, things on Yandex market website, and they will bring it to your neighborhood. 
Minar. It's uh, short for Mental Arithmetics. That's the section for kids. That's where kids can learn the uh, Mental Arithmetics. That's the school for professional stylists. Pro Skill Studio. Playground for kids. The kids love hanging out here. And look, it's uh, pretty right that the, there they have the store which is called Dieti Lübitz. Kids love it. It's a toy store. Loose cans. Thank you for super chats. Nice. Have a nice pragulka, Sergey. Back to work for me. Pragulka, it's walk. Thank you so much. So this is in vitro, the medical analysis. So you can get different tests here. Miasa malako, meat, milk, fruit, I veg, fruits and vegetables. Pikarnia, that's bakery. It's called Buhanka. Buhanka, it's love like love of bread and gradus degrees mostly um, the uh, alcohol markets but with also some groceries that's green cross that's the drugstore <laughs> posto gusto italian cuisine restaurants beauty salon which is called apelsin orange It's taken wine. This is my favorite, uh, favorite restaurant on a neighborhood. SW Bar, steak and wine. I used to take you here many times. This is a wellness and spa. That's where sometimes uh, I go for massage for a normal massage. Okay. Boy, that's the wallpapers. Allure. Houston. It's when you have problem with your teeth. Houston. Houston, we have a problem. And this is uh, Pityorochka. One of the biggest uh, chains of uh, grocery supermarkets. Pityorochka. Pityorochka is like a little five. Yeah. One word, which means like little five. Because uh, like just five, it will be bad. But Pityurochka, that Ochka in the end, it's like shows that it's something little or sweet, like sweet form. Panda M, thank you for super chat. Hi, Sergey. Please say hello. Please say, please say hello. He to, please say hello. He to my nephew, Mickey, and from Oklahoma, Florida. Hi, Mickey. Hi, hi from Oklahoma, Florida. And from St. Petersburg. <clears throat> what? How is the weather? Night boat. Well, actually, night boat have the common weather, but I'm. It seems like it's not work if uh, there is something else besides the words weather. And I need to check it out. I need to work more on it. Yeah, another beauty salon, Studio Krasati, beauty studio. are parkings one of parkings here one of eight seven story parkings and uh, this is Moskovsky Vokzal right behind the fence Moskovsky railway station from here the trains to Moscow goes or in direction of Moscow
people often asking me if uh, it's loud, noisy here because of the railway station, but it's not because there's the dead end. So here the uh, trains come to and go away on a uh, slow speed. Also, I believe here is something like uh, quiet rails or something. <sighs> Hello, Winston. And this is uh, the main sightseeing in my neighborhood. This is like a cherry on a cake of the neighborhood. Uh, Theodore Cathedral. The cathedral, by the way, which is dedicated to 300 years of uh, the dynasty of Romanovs being in the power of Russia. 300 years to Romanovs. Uh, pretty often here, they are uh, really making like uh, bell concerts. I mean, like they really uh, knock the bells, playing the bells pretty long and very beautiful. Uh, I never thought that I love the bell music that much before I started to live here. Hype. You see, everybody these days looking for hype. So even the uh, cafe here called Hype. But you know, my channel is still an island, an island of uh, quiet zone, non-hype zone. Here I'm not hyping, just keep making uh, the videos that make sense without fake, without bullshit, without exaggeration. This is the wall, which is actually symbolized the connection of two capitals, St. Petersburg and Moscow. Okay, this is how I've got already to regular St. Petersburg. The St. Petersburg, everybody imagined to himself with all of it, with all of this 18th, 19th flavor. And we're just in a like 200 meters from Nevsky Prospect. Hello, Barry Brim. Hi, Elvis. Hi, Brittany. 
ายฟิลิปใครใครมิกใครไมเคิลใครมาดานะใครสิงเฮลโหลเอลอาร์เรดอนโดยูร์คมิสเลอร์ลินฟอร์สนั่นคือชื่อของทุกที่ที่คุณสามารถซื้อได้ผมหมายถึงแบบแบบแบบแบบ Okay, I think that I was never taking you here. One day I need to take you here. So you see, they sell the pies like this. Just a thick pies, different kinds of pies. Augusto High, the cafe which is called Dobry Gruzin. It's like a kind Georgian, kind Georgian man. Dobry Gruzin, wah wah. Shelly Vasquez, hi Shelly. So this is it. That's how, for only 19 minutes, we've got to Nevsky from the house where I live. So local time, 19.19. This is Friday. Come on. Come on, let's keep walking. Anthony Lowry, I love pie, especially apple pie with a piece of sharp cheddar cheese on the top. Yeah, that sounds tempting. Man, my favorite pie is uh, banana cream yummy well usually in Russia you will not find such a pie Bedroom. Happy Friday. So, in differ from the last week, we can see that now again everything opens. All the people can get in, and even QR codes are not required yet. Most of places will start require QR codes only at the first of December.
traditionally a lot of cars here at between 7 and 8 o'clock as usual not like it was a week ago the public transportation also got to a normal schedule during the work days intersection of uh, Suvorovsky Prospect and Nevsky Prospect. I'm sure you all know already this place. I'm pretty often hanging out here or around because you see it's like not far from my neighborhood. Moskovsky railway station or Moscow railway station. It's always crowded this time here because the trains from Moscow comes to St. Petersburg and vice versa. The train from St. Petersburg to Moscow goes and also um, from here not only the trains goes to just to Moscow but also a lot of suburban trains. David Vladimir, that's the Sapsan leaf from this station. Yes, this is something what I used to tell you like hundreds of times. That's why it's called Moskovsky. So here you understand the trace from here goes to Moscow.
here is still no snow in St. Petersburg and not gonna be at least for the nearest week in a moment when in Ufa there was the snow already for two days Ufa, my hometown The fire department car The fire department truck Hey, let him go They ignore it. What a mofo. <laughs> the entrance supported Vastaya Metro Station. Exploring with us windows, Michael, Natalia, hello. Lubanon, hello. Welcome to St. Petersburg yeah. this Friday night. These mofos do not stop for emergency vehicles. Pricks. Yes, there was like five pricks. Like five cars in a row. They ignored. They saw that. There's the fire department car. Yeah, what are pricks? I hear the music, so the street musicians got back. You remember that actually um, when the lockdown started, the lockdown started on Saturday, on Saturday at the 29th or it was 30th of October. And uh, in a moment when like everything already was closed, however, technically it was absolutely illegal for the street musicians to keep performing. And uh, like it was a really benefit for street musicians. They used to collect a lot of people around and on Monday or uh, Tuesday so the St. Petersburg government even like made another decree that um, uh, so the musicians don't have to play as well and now they got back now they got back look let's listen to the guys but I need first while they are warming up I need to withdraw some money I need uh, cash. Traditionally, I don't have any cash. I don't have any cash. Normally, I don't need cash because here now, even for the street toilets, you can pay with cash. But uh, the only, like, uh, the only case mostly when I need cash is just when we are listening to the street musicians. I could, I, I, and even to street musicians, I can make just a bank to bank transfer, but I've lost my second phone. I had just a cheap Xiaomi, I've lost it. And, and, and my phone is busy, my main phone is busy with the stream. So I have to go in to withdraw the money because I'm not a freeloader. Bank ATM not available for withdrawal, so uh, got to another ATM from St. Petersburg Bank. Exploring with the Zwino, Sergey, if you were unaware, Disney Plus has a Beatles documentary, four parts.
Okay, exploring with the circuit if you wear an Aver Disney Plus. Uh, has a uh, Beatles documentary, four parts, coming out end of month. I think you'd be a big fan. Hey, thank you for information. I definitely gonna check it out. I love watching the documentaries about the Beatles. Okay, the guy started. That's Ice Street Band. I really love these guys. Ice Street Band. And uh, they really love Nirvana. And uh, no wonder now the first track, it seems like the first track they started with, it uh, smells like Teen Spirit. Disco Joe and everybody who keeps coming.
told you many times that I think that these guys are like the greatest on a uh, street performers scene of St. Petersburg. I really think that they are some better than Visconti. They are better than Idaho. They are really great. <coughs> well, at least they are one of the best. It's a cuckoo, cuckooska.
Спасибо. Ice Street Bands. Here on площадь восстания Saint Petersburg, Russia. So жив, so жив. It's nice. They started with Nirvana, continues with Victor Tsui and Kino Bands, and now there's. Uh, Yes. Milton Park. It's a Swiss cafe. gonna be next
Спасибо. Ай Стрит Бэнс, они очень крутые ребята. Они знают свое дело. Они знают свое дело, ребята. I'm really curious what will be the next, however, we will keep going after the next track. Hello, Park Flyer. Hello, Jonathan Eduardo Daniel. So he literally breaking the performance. Go away, man. You fucking broke the performance of Movie Troll. The track Vladivostok 2000. You see how many like just the normal guys here around, but then there comes just one drunkard and uh, spoil imagination about Russians. This is something that happens all the fucking time. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Neil McDonald, you're right. For fuck's sake, for fuck's sake. Okay, he's he's going away. The mofo, freaking moron, freaking asshole, fucking mongrel, pain in ass, shithead, fucking cocksucker.
have this is i street bands as i told you uh one of the best street bands here in saint petersburg that's a really nice set they started with nirvana continues with victor Tsui and kino bands then uh lincoln park twice uh then uh movie troll which is unfortunately was interrupted with that mofo drunk mofo and now after all scorpions uh the guys will keep performing uh but so uh, we need to go we better go because uh this live stream dedicated not only to i street bands but in general traditional friday night live friday night live the city the streets the people the vibe and atmosphere everything as i actually promised in the title to this uh, live stream hello everybody my name is sergey baklikov this is baklikov live and let's keep going the time already 802 802 oh look nevsky center they actually turned to be uh, 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 the first or one of the first who already made the new year uh lighting look at this so the new year's atmosphere soon will come to this city to the city of st petersburg as i told you 33 million rubles the government plan to spend for the new year lighting which is like a half of a million dollars it may seem like a lot but it's not too much considering how big is the city uh, recently by the way st petersburg uh, reached seven million residents susan m Thank you for Super Chat, five bucks from Susan M. Thank you for this wonderful tour of uh, St. Petersburg. You're welcome, you're welcome big time. I'm gonna keep walking all the way through Nevsky Prospect. Come on, come on. You see, the one week lockdown is over and uh, now here it looks uh, way more lively than a week ago even though even a week ago still was a lot of people because the people being not able to go to the restaurants and cafes they all had to hang out in the streets uh, let me remind you how everything started at first the lockdown was announced in moscow and moscow and uh, so what the Moscovites decided to do, they, they like, oh, the one week of lockdown, okay, let's go to Turkey, let's go to Sochi, let's go to St. Petersburg. But then St. Petersburg also announced that uh, it will be closed for a one week lockdown and, uh, and then all the rest of Russia. But the tickets already were sold. So anyway, people came here and, um, anyway they at least were hanging out in the streets uh, fortunately st petersburg is that city where you can just hanging out in the streets and you will enjoy this like look at this everywhere you're surrounded with uh, amazing architecture yes uh, that's why that's what i love uh, that's one of the things one of the biggest things i love uh, in st petersburg more than in moscow that uh, moscow is like very beautiful but uh it have uh, so many like different parts with uh, so many different uh, vibes and uh, sometimes you need like to uh, move between those parts but here everything is solid i mean everything is solid so everything is like one kind of style like everywhere where you go it's like 18th 19th century flavor
Young 80 channel. Stay home. Okay, you can stay home if you want. And we will keep walking. We will keep walking here in St. Petersburg. Friday. So look, uh, the traffic, the traffic of cars, of the guys who goes from work to home. It's getting changed to the heavy traffic of cars of guys who started hanging out. It's eight o'clock. Monica Bradenstein, hi. Brian Holland and everybody who keep joining. Oh, look, they got the bench here. Wow. The benches. The benches on Nevsky. That's something else. Something new. Grizzly Bar. This is an American corner. Here, Grizzly Bar, KFC, and there's uh, Pizza Hut. They go all together on this corner. Hello, you vlogs. It's a hood. It's a hood. Okay, this is the corner of Mayakovsky, Mayakovsky Street and Nevsky. Mayakovsky, he was a real great poet. The poets of the beginning of nine to uh, like of earlier Soviets, early Soviet days. Mayakovsky, Vladimir Mayakovsky, Vladimir Mayakovsky. Seems like somebody's purchased Bitcoin early. Somebody's purchased Shiba Inu in 2020. Keep walking Nevsky Prospect. You remember there, if you will go there and will turn to the right, there's uh, the jazz bar called Police Station. The Police Station. And that's how once I've made an experiment. An experiment of, uh, you know, clickbait. Of uh, clickbait on YouTube. And unfortunately, it is worked. It is worked. This is really so sad that YouTube really like uh, praise the clickbait sensationalism and uh, other stuff like that. Uh, a year ago, I used to film a lot of just bars and just performances. And uh, some people like really seriously were asking me if uh, jazz is legal in Russia uh, I don't know why they decided it's not legal because even in the Soviet days it was pretty legal okay and uh, I decided to go to the bar which is called police station jazz bar and I decided to play over it 
I titled the video as uh, like uh, got a call to the police station because of listening too much dress. I hope I will not get arrested. Yeah, back then you have no idea how many people started joining the stream. It was like more than 600 people joined that. And uh, for one, one hour I went to the police station and uh, most people thought I go to the real police station. Okay. And when I came there, everybody saw this is just uh, the bar, which is called police station. And yeah, but that's how I also understood that uh, the clickbait is not working in the long term or you have to make your clickbait stuff and your controversial stuff all the time. And here you just need to respond to yourself uh, as a vlogger. Are you ready all the time making controversial stuff and uh, the clickbait stuff or not? I am not. Because, okay, so look, you can attract the people with your clickbait, but this is like a um, cheap audience for you. Cheap audience because this is the audience which will never get back to you. If you will if you will get back to your normal stuff so that's why now i don't really care about any tricks to get the subscribers to get the viewers because uh you know a one really loyal subscriber who really enjoy your stuff your your stuff okay uh worth like maybe hundreds of uh, just a random subscribers you will attract with a clickbait stuff so okay uh, there was like 600 people watching at the same time okay but then when they saw this is just uh, was a clickbait they all gone okay they all gone <coughs> all those new guys they just gone they just wanted to see me to have me having problem and messing with the police and when they realized I'm not gonna mess with the police, all they are like disappointed and yet said that I'm a motherfucker and that I'm a freaking liar. So you see, it's not work in a long distance, pers uh, long term perspective if you do not plan keep making the controversial videos. Radisson Royal Hotel. Falcon restaurant. Walking with a balcony. Leeching in a prospect. Get to Rubinstein, maybe there we will meet Corelli. Who knows? So let's see how is Rubinstein Street now, and maybe we will meet Corelli. Corelli Street Group.
McDonald's. Hey, we can go here. Was a huge line for McDonald's. But not anymore. Okay, this is Rubinstein Street. 700 meters street. Named after Anton Rubinstein. Anton Rubinstein, the composer, virtuoso pianist, and uh, the founder of Music Conservatory. Now the street's known as uh, the most bar street in Russia. Just know anymore any other street in, in Russia which uh, is more concentrated with uh, so many different bars and clubs and some restaurants. Meat coin, butcher and grill place. Hey, haters, you better shut up or eventually that's how you will look like. You hear me? You hear me, fucking haters? Fucking mofos? Crazy wine. Crazy wine was closed at all last week, but usually there's a lot of people and I've noticed that at crazy wine, pl wine place usually a lot of girls, yeah, like girls loves the wines, there's really like a lot of girls all the time. Crazy sushi. Fiddler's Green, there they have Guinness, by the way. Yeah, here is still a lot of haters on my channel hanging out. Yesterday, if you remember, it was 16th, 16th anniversary of my wedding. 16 years since I've got married to my wife Albina and yesterday there was a common watch we watched all together my uh, wedding video that was made on my wedding day and it was like more or less okay and the chats during the stream itself but then when it, it has became available as the video there came a lot of haters a lot of motherfuckers who were commenting a lot of weird stuff and look, the thing is, the thing is, it's okay when people say shit to me or even to my wife, but uh, I can stand it when they uh, say shit about just like uh, my, uh, the rest of my family and especially to the guys who already left us. So uh, there was like a weird comments even to those guys who unfortunately died. There's like five guys who died who was on my uh, wedding since then mostly I just like normal uh, older man you know which is definitely never never deserved such uh, such uh, you know attitudes attitudes so that's why I had to move my waiting live stream uh, to members only section what a mofos I mean what makes people say shit not even to me to me it's okay i mean like every public person have an immunity to this but come on to the people who just 16 years ago was hanging out on my wedding and anyway already dead come on come on wake up wake up what's in your head what's in your head dude that's weird Look, scene will find you.
It's God's bar. God's. Well, uh, it's actually truth that here on Rubinstein, scene eventually will find you. The scene will find you. Well, Rubinstein Street is the street where you where, where where you really can find the scene, because here's a lot of alcohol, a lot of girls. Yeah. Uh, if alcohol and girls around, yeah, scene is somewhere around as well. That looks cool there. Well, that's the place which used to be called Rubinstein. And by the way, this is uh, the place where they have also a secret bar. Once I've got inside, I've got inside, and then the guy got to me and said oh like you're filming that's interesting let me show you something and we got there inside we went through the corridor through the kitchen and then there's the door he opened up the door and there was like a relatively little room yeah. but there was a lot of a lot of guys hanging out uh they had their own fun and that definitely was a, a secret bar the secret bar which is like you, you will never find it. I, I was checking on like uh, yellow pages or two geese or Google map, uh, Google Google addresses like Google Maps, Yandex Maps. Uh, there's no any, there's no bar registered on Google Maps or Yandex Maps. Uh, those those who don't like alcohol, here is a Chinese dome tea house. So it's more like about tea and hookah. Sometimes it's just tea. Sometimes it's just tea, you know. But you know what? Uh, recently, I can't stand hookah places because that smoke makes my head turning around. Okay, look. So this is Rubinstein 13. This is just a live stream on YouTube. So, for the United States? Uh, for in, including for all, for all. Not only for my friends, for my subscribers. Okay, look, uh, this is uh, Leningrad Rock Club, former Leningrad Rock Club, the building where was the Leningrad Rock Club. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, no Corelli. If they perform, usually at this time they already perform because it's uh, 8.25. Oh well, maybe next time. Well, it's really like was already a... Uh, uh, I think that the last time I filmed Corelli was um, just before October. The last time I saw them was the 2nd of October when was the grand concert. Uh, Irina Mularczyk grand opera concert. You remember that? Karaoke, that's where you can sing. Karaoke, Sa song free, song free. Uh, I guess that means that you don't have to pay like for each song. Well, sometimes like here, yeah, you're, like, you're just like coming to the place and you're just singing. Uh, you don't have to pay additionally for every track sang. 
but sometimes you have to pay like for each track. This is a Tesla bar, Tesla bar. I love this steampunk place. I used to take you here like several times, uh, like maybe two weeks ago, just before the pandemic. I used to film here. Yeah, I love the uh, steampunk design there. Karaoke. Yeah, sometimes you just pay for like uh, like for your drinks and just maybe like for the entrance tickets and the songs are unlimited and sometimes you have to pay for each song. That's what probably song free means. That you don't have to pay for each song separately. grocery store and here is a lot of vodka yeah dudes oh Cuba oh Cuba I was taking you to oh Cuba two weeks ago and by the way that was a great place I mean like I was never sure why I was not coming here before this is the restaurants of Cuban life. It's like pretty colorful. It's pretty colorful there. Let me show you. Pretty colorful. Там вас банкет, да, банкет? Там вас банкет? Просто выступает. А можно просто панораму показать зрителям? Просто покажу внутри. Это не вовремя. pretty colorful pretty colorful and look uh, I see that on the Fridays they actually sometimes have the live music which is cool so uh, here I think I need to get rum rum здравствуйте мне необходим ром какой-нибудь фирменный блин не знаю даже я только недавно начал употреблять ром а цена имеет значение? Ну так-то да. Или сбалансированная? Сбалансированная, давайте. Хорошо, могу предложить смирение Сантьяго Декуба. Идеальный вариант. Если вы пробовали, что-то знаете. Сколько будет стоить? Надо понять, сколько это. А, нормально. Да. In this Cuban place, a rum considered as their firm uh, drink. Как называется в итоге Сантьяго? Сантьяго де Куба. Сантьяго де Куба. I will drink now Santiago de Cuba. Cuba de Lico, Cuba de Lico. Cuba Blisca. HSM Epic Return. Thank you for 20 pounds. Where is Ronald? Uh, he already left today. Хотелось бы сразу оплатить. Да, по карте. 
he has Ronald left, but he will get back in December because he has an amazing schedule. 30 days he's working non-stop and then 26 days off. So he's actually can't make coming here six times a year. Santiago de Cuba. Oh, прекрасно, прекрасно. Easy to drink, easy to drink. Even like a little bit, a little sweet, sweet. You can feel alcohol, but it's not too bad. Yes, this is from Santiago de Cuba because we're in uh, the restaurant of Cuban life, okay? And when I asked the bartenders about which drink here considered as a firm drink, they told me rum. 340 rubles, which is like five bucks, five bucks uh, for a portion, which is just okay. I like this place, it's atmospheric. Inside Russia, where is your wedding? I want to continue watching. The thing is now, my wedding video, I moved to members only section. Because look, you can tell me, you guys can tell me that I'm a motherfucker and everything you want, that I'm a moron, whatever you want, even to my wife, because we've got the immunity, the immunity, okay, to uh, all the uh, bad words and stuff like that. But yesterday there was uh, the situation when I used to show my family, okay, and there, gave, uh, there came um, the haters who hated not even on me or my wife, but on some guys some guys who was on my wedding and who I said already died, okay? And that was really weird. I used to think that there's already no, not many weird things. I mean, like the things I can consider as weird and uh, which will uh, lead me to some actions against it. But look, now this is exactly that case. Okay, I mean like what's on earth? in the head of the people when they are hating on just a uh, older guys who 16 years ago were on my wedding and anyway they are already they are already dead they are dead okay and uh, however you keep coming and saying shit about those guys so this is absolutely unacceptable for me, unacceptable for me, just uh, in terms of the uh, memory, a memory of uh, like uh, my family in its extended understanding, okay? Because there was like, let's say, uh, my wife's uncle, my uncle, stuff like that. So yeah, and um, this is like just too personal. It's just too personal videos. That's why I moved it to members only, okay? Because like members usually are very loyal people. Big Rory Holler, thank you, thank you, Big Big Ro Big Rory.
Some wrong. <laughs> Dennis Gordon, don't say firm drinks, say house specialty. Okay, bar favorites. Okay, got it, got it. You see, I'm just, uh, I'm just like a. More uh, Russian speaker. I mean, look for you, for you. Maybe it will be uh, not usual to hear, but 99% of time I will speak Russian, and only 1% of time, uh, and only 1% of time I speak English. But you see me exactly in that 1% of time during my live streams. I speak English. And uh, maybe it's now really like uh, kind of controversial for you to hear that most of the time I speak Russian. And uh, still I don't know many idioms and special words. So when I say firm drink, firm drink, it's like a literal transliteration from Russian. Because in Russia we would say firm drink, firm drink. Big Rory Holler, how do I become a member? I've been watching you for a year, didn't know about membership. Just see the link in the description below. Also Nightboat, all the time publish the link where you can, uh... oh, right now, look, Nightboat shows the link to the memberships. Actually, in a long term, the memberships, it's uh, the most powerful tool for content creators, because when people join membership, they are like subscribing for a monthly contributions to your channel. And this is something which allow the content creator already to see how much money, more or less, uh, they will receive from the uh, YouTube, from the audience, uh, guaranteed, guaranteed. And that's how you can make a big plans. For example, that's in a big way how my road trip 2021 was planned. Uh, re uh, this year I've made a huge road trip and uh, financially it was really, I mean like, it uh, was worth a lot of money because I rented the car, I traveled all the way from St. Petersburg to Orenburg, which is on the border of Europe and Asia. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the car rental, it's uh, the petroleum, it's uh, the stops at the hotels, it's the food and the restaurants. But, but, uh, I was able to show you uh, Valdai, the town of Valdai and Iversky Monastery there, built in the middle of 17th century, okay? The town of Tver, Moscow again, the town of Rizan, Tambov, Penza, Saransk, which is the capital of Mordovia, the Republic of Mordovia. Then I went to Kazan, Kazan, and from Kazan I came to my hometown of Ufa. 
but then I continued the road trip. Uh, I was making it to the southern Ural towns like Asha, Minyar, Sin, Ustkatav. Also some towns in the Republic of Bashkortostan like Bilsk, Kumertau, and uh, also not next to uh, Bashkortostan, Orenburg, the town of Orenburg, uh, which is the capital of Orenburg region. It is located uh, right next to Kazakhstan, on a border with uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, it's a border of Europe and Asia. So it was a big deal. Then on a way back home, I also got it to the town of Izhevsk, which is the capital of Udmurtia, and the town of uh, Vodkinsk, where was born Pyotr Tchaikovsky. He was born there and lived for the first eight years there. So you see, so you see, uh, it, it really works. It works. Okay, it works. The memberships, it works. When I say that this something what helps to uh, contribute the channel and uh, to make the new things, it is really so. Okay, let's keep walking. Спасибо, до свидания. Спасибо. Спасибо. Куба. Куба далеко, Куба далеко, Куба близко. Че Гевара. Фидель Кастро. Куба. Куба Либре. Hello, Natalia Robinson. Irish pub. This is, by the way, the very first Irish pub in St. Petersburg, established in 1994. Molles. It's called Molles. Sunshine girl, hi. I forgot if I already told you today, hi. So I'm just saying once again. Jewish place, bake it, sir. Look, it's it's packed, so people are waiting for somebody will go away. Yeah. Okay. Bake it, sir. Frank, ribs and bar. Uh, Frank, it's actually the place which is belong to a uh, very popular Russian rapper, Basta, Basta. Sunshine girl, thank you for five bucks super sticker. Yeah. 
and that's uh, there's the place which is called Falafel King and uh, by many people it's considered like the best place for falafel one day I have to show that to you I guess but I'm just not a big fan of falafel I'm more fan of shawarma shown a rock high Mikhail Bensman Udarenia na Bikitsa okay Bikitsa Bikitsa right Bikitsa so now here we came to the place which is called Five Corners which is literally just uh, Five Corners here is Razjezhe Street this is uh, Sabarban Avenue Zagrodny Prospect Lomonosov Street and uh, Rubinstein Street so it's literally Five Corners Okay, now let's walk opposite side. Frank. The hotel. It's called Dynastia. Dynastia. Rest the whole 760. Hachapurne, like Hachapuri place. It's all about Hachapuri. I love Hachapuri. Hachapuri, it's uh, dumplings, Georgian style. Uh, the ones that have the place for you to hold it in hands. You, you, um, you know, you take it, turn over, then you need to make a uh, small bite and start sucking the juice and that's it and then to eat then to eat uh, i used to show you that actually i was telling you the instruction tres amigos restaurants tres amigos like three friends right the vlatov the vlatov look this is the guy who born in Ofa, in my hometown, moved to St. Petersburg and then immigrated to New York. He is a really great writer. By the way, today it's um, 200 years to Fyodor Dostoevsky. The Cecil restaurant, it's packed. I'm going the uh, opposite direction, Rubinstein Street. We are getting back to Nevsky. I can see that Rubinstein completely got back into the normal life. Barfather, could you please repeat that guy's name that was born in Ufa and immigrated to New York? Sergei Dovlatov. G O V L A T O V. Hunt.
Ian Robertson, Sergey, did you see the new TV series about Dmitry Shostakovich and the blockade on Russia One channel? No, I'm not, uh, because uh, I don't have the TV at home. I don't have TV. But I will check it out. Thank you for letting me know. Anthony Lowry, welcome to the club. Thank you for joining the membership. The club is growing. Yes, sunshine girl. And this is really because look, it's really so that together, together we can do more. Together we can do more. Together we are the power. <laughs> punk brew bar. Punk brew. Punk. Why can't you watch that over here without cable? No. Well, all I know that my TV box is not working anyway. I mean, like, it is. I don't even have just like a normal antenna. Okay. Working days bar. By the way, it's one of the most controversial bars. The bar which is usually uh, ignore all the uh, restrictions, and like all the time they have the uh, problems with the police. But anyway, somehow they keep working. Geography, geography bar. Probably that's because there's uh, so many drinks from all over the world. And this is like a luxury style just bar, 48 chairs. So like uh, more luxury style than let's say this is bar or the head bar. I still never taking you here. And I need to fix it. Fiddlers, this is a Fiddlers Green. I think that's I'm gonna get inside because I need Guinness. HSM Epic Resort, please go there, make a reservation. Uh, I will make it, but not today. Not today. Guinness. Yeah, 
For future, yes, I will do this. I will do this. No? For you guys. Have a good Friday.
Okay, let's keep going. Андрій Чижевський. Thanks. Thanks. Super chat. Five Canadian dollars. Uh, 100 meters to Nevsky. We are getting back to Nevsky. Today, uh, actually, this is the first Friday after a short lockdown we had here last week. And uh, I'm just now like uh, kind of documenting this moment of uh, how St. Petersburg used to be uh, in a lockdown week after lockdown weekends. Uh, imagine somebody will watch these videos like 100, 200, 300 years later, 1000 years later. Wow. It's like imagine now we had uh, the videos of uh, the guys who were making the videos of their life in um, 18th, 17th, 15th century. That would be wow. Nevsky from Rubenstein. Epic HSM Epic Return, you need a more stylish hat. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not trying to be stylish. seconds 50 seconds to wait by the way never forget that three weeks ago I filmed a video about a new library I mean the, one of the branches of the central library of St. Petersburg named Tavsa Mayakovsky they got back after three years restoration check it out uh, the live stream I was making three weeks ago from that library This palace, Belosevsky, Belosevsky Palace, it's there. They spent, you see this building, they spent a billion rubles for restoration. Hello, Iron R. Hi. Welcome to Friday Night Live in St. Petersburg.
Fantanka, Fantanka River. Fantanka. Notice that all the boats already gone. The navigation officially closed and we'll get back in April. Maybe in the beginning, maybe in the middle, maybe in the end. That will totally depend on the uh, weather. Sometimes when like uh, really warm weather comes earlier in St. Petersburg, all the boats and boat rides are getting back um, already in the beginning of April, sometimes in the middle, sometimes in the end of April. Okay, let's go. Let's cross the streets. Irinar, I think billion in Russian is trillion, not sure though. No, billion, it's milliard. Milliard. So, uh, yes, like Russian, uh, one billion rubles. Tofu. Toflam, have you ever tried to curse at that famous horse statue? Что? What the, what the fuck are you talking about? Curse at statue? Are you fucking dumb? You now sounds like you're a dumb. You're a dumb. You're a goddamn dumb. You hear me? So you thinking that I'm dumb to have to curse at the horn statues. We got back to Nevsky. Теперь надо очистительные работы проводить. 
что-нибудь наше русское. Я чуть не задохнул за Ванечка. Чувствую сердечку немного осталось биться здесь. Нам гранит Невского проспекту. Надо песню здоровую, воздоравливающую, оздоровительную послушать. guys before well it is something quite original <laughs> so I'm gonna give them money Я сейчас как болт. Знаете, что я сейчас как болт?
maybe you guys love it but for me it's time to go to go away i will give tip to these guys just because it's something something else something i never saw you in the streets of uh, st petersburg okay but, i mean i i can't stand it for too long I mean, I, I can stand it for long. I can stand it. And it's weird to feel myself like bold. Yeah, so I was not able to stand this for like more than five, seven minutes. I mean, okay, so uh, a little tip for being original, but uh, I'm done. Catherine the Great. Meanwhile, it's 2121 in St. Petersburg. I was running because here usually I'm losing the internet connection. Iron R, you're asking the question to night boat, but night boat is really bot. Father, where is the guy who plays classic so classical on keyboards? You see he was removed by those guys. Eventually the bullshit replaced the culture. Another street musicians here just finished their performance. We've missed it. Well, at least we were listening to a good set of uh, I Street Band today in the very beginning of this live stream.
It's гостиный двор, by the way. Гостиный двор. Гостиный двор means, means guest yards. This is the mall. That's how they called the malls back then in 18th century. Guest yard. The yard for guests. You know, Irene, night boats for now can respond only the question about the weather. And all the rest it can respond. Dimitri football, the group with the grandmother was funny. Well, you see? Damn, really you guys find it funny, but I don't. I don't. And that's uh, that's actually some, something. What this is something what happens all the time. I find not funny what most people find funny, and vice versa. Grand Hotel Europe. Hello, Randall Boatman. HSM Epic Return. I did not either. Well, that's why. That's why you're hanging out on my channel all the time. Hello, Ralph Palmgren. Ralph Palmgren. Damn, you used you used to complain that I am not making my live streams absolutely every day as I used to before. Well, now I'm making my live streams every day again, and you're coming to watch only after more than two hours since I started. Damn it, damn it, that's not fair. Hello, Anna Coach. House of Zinger. So now we are on the corner of Grebaev Canal and Nevsky Prospect. This is the entrance to Nevsky Prospect Metro Station, the blue line. So, okay. The musician is here as well. 
Okay, so all the musicians I see got back, got back to the streets of St. Petersburg as soon as one week lockdown is over. Kazansky Cathedral. So now who is here? Aidaha? No, it's Visconti. Oh yes, Visconti. It's been a while we listened to this to Visconti. Хочу вам сказать, что ТикТок это платформа для тех, что кликаешь, что и получаешь. Будешь кликать танцы, будешь их всегда получать. Если хочешь получать новости, интересную информацию, то кликай именно их. Всем ютуберам привет, подписывайтесь, ставьте лайки, вы yeah. классные. Yeah, yeah. He said he's TikToker, and he thought I'm TikToker as well. But I said like, look, do I look like 13? And this is YouTube. Uh, Chris Rich. Hi, Chris. No fake, no bullshit. And uh, as always, Sergey. Cheers from Luxembourg. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you again. Um, hope to see you soon again in St. Petersburg. Okay, Visconti now taking a break. I don't know. Should we keep waiting for them? I wonder if we have to keep waiting for them for them wait for when they will get back from the break. Okay, it seems like uh, they're, they're, they're going to be on their break for too long. It doesn't seem like they're about to get back. Which is actually kind of wrong. I mean, now it's like top time to play. Still top time to play. But yeah, I understand. Maybe they tired. Wow, I mean like, it's really, what is really interesting that today, everywhere I see the benches. On Nevsky. I 
Iron R. Let's celebrate nice weather in St. Petersburg. That's what I do now. I really now enjoy this walk. It's uh, warm, it's uh, no, not windy. It's great. Thank you for super chat. Corner of Bolshaya Kanyushina and Nevsky, Nevsky Prospect. Solo musician. Well, usually in St. Petersburg, solo musicians do not attract many people. Look, that's because people in St. Petersburg are spoiled, spoiled with full bands where they have the drummer, bass, bass player, bass guitar player, uh, rhythm guitar, solo guitar, a vocalist. Instagram. This is the place where all the time the cheese commerce. When you will come to St. Petersburg, never forget about cheese commerce. Cheese commerce are only one of two things. St. Petersburg first tea scammers just never just never go for tea di digesting with them because then they will really pushing hard on you to buy uh, the just a plain tea for a very ridiculous high price and the second second thing is all those donkeys uh, the man in a costumes of zebras jackals giraffes and all the stuff uh, they want to photograph with you and when they photograph with you then they start demands also ridiculously big money from you especially if they will figure it out that you're a foreigner okay so just never photograph with the mofos and never go to try the tea tea digesting because they all are so nice at first like oh please can you go for tea digesting with us it's free it's free but they then just uh, they start pushing on you like hey boy why why please why or at first they're like hey let's photograph and they are trying to make it all always like at first you to photograph and then to really like demands a lot of money from you like it's ridiculous like 20 30 40 bucks for just the photograph you never really want it it makes no sense but somehow it works It seems like the biggest money they are making on cultural people who prefer just to pay, just to give them the money instead of like ranting with them, instead of to say, hey you motherfucker, get the fuck out of here. I never fucking wanted your tea. I never fucking wanted your photograph. And now you demand a lot of money from me. You, you scunt, you numbskull, get the fuck out or I will smash your freaking face off so not everybody wants to behave like this 
So they prefer, okay, okay, how much? 20, 30 bucks? Okay, okay, say, take 20 bucks and, uh, and leave me alone, okay? King Cheddar. <laughs> Looks cool. На бухло, честно? Честно. Окей. Настя, берите. Окей. Окей. Вот фрэнк хер, на бухло, for alcohol. Честно, honestly. Uh, honestly. Yeah. Well, honestly. Окей. Окей. Okay. So I gave them the I gave them some money because they said for alcohol, honestly. So they 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 like not trying to look like uh like uh for food. Uh that Okay, I got back, I got back, right. Okay, so uh, that was really interesting. Uh, those drunkards were not trying to make it look like they wanna, uh, uh, I mean like they, are, they, they just wanna eat or uh, they need the essential first need things. They just honestly think that they need for buffalo. Buffalo, it's alcohol. Buffalo. Okay. So, yeah, I appreciate the honesty. Yes. Look, now there's something happens with my uh, live stream on Prism. And I continue this live stream with a stream laps. With a stream laps. This is actually already for the second time uh, for the last two weeks. The surprise from Prism. When um, I don't know. I mean, suddenly, suddenly, uh, the Prism just shut down. Shut down. And that's no good. That's no good. Audio is not synced. Yes, this is because now I use the frigging uh, frigging stream labs. So I better will not show myself. That's how you will see that. Um, that's how you will see how you will not see that audio is not synced with video. William Lynch, 260s Cowboy, David, everybody, everybody, hi. So now we are about to get into the Palace Square.
uh, Bella Square. I wonder if we're gonna meet the sax man. Alexander Colon with the angel on its top. Saint Isaac's. The Winter Palace. And uh, no saxman today. Saxman usually always here. He's sitting here, and uh, under his curtain, he has such a curtain, such an interesting construction. That construction hiding him, so we can see him playing, but we don't see him. We don't see him himself. upset here I'm sorry to hear you've got you've got into the Moscow traffic jams but you have to get used to this it now makes no sense to complain about it because everybody knows that in Moscow the traffic jams are heavy if you want to be in time in Moscow use Metro
Palace embankment. 